are you ready to hang with your digital besties? What Day Is It? is a podcast covering every girl problem, life struggle, and biz reality out there. So pour yourself a glass of wine and get ready to laugh, relate, and celebrate not having it all together. So this time last year, I was sitting at this exact spot, just like in a really bad place, crying, could barely get out of bed in the mornings. Like I came here to just like, obviously this is stunning and great view and be with family. And I was just in such a bad place. And now this year looking back, I'm like, holy crap, so much changed in one year. I feel like things became established. I've never thought in my life I'd be in another relationship and happy and have a golden retriever and just like all these, I'm like, what? in a year all right friendships welcome back it is a new week a new episode of what day is it podcast your digital version of happy hour really wish i had a margarita right now but i don't i am bailey stanworth i am the founder of play digital and state of grace and one half of this podcast and i'm sitting here looking homeless with the other half you're looking homeless and my hair is my face it's so greasy. My hair. I haven't washed my hair in four days. That was me two days ago. Anyways, hey friendships, it's Jackie Rye, the other half of this podcast. I am the influencer lead for Play Digital. I am the dog mom to Harvey, and I'm also a lovely server. You're making me seem like a bad dog mom because I don't have that in my intro. You have way cooler titles than <laughs> me, okay? We also have both our dog children in the room right now. I this know. is a roundtable discussion. Jackie and I are sitting across from each other and Banks and Harvey are sitting across from each other. And we're not really sure how this is going to go. We They had the best. Well, I mean, mm-hmm. Bailey would beg to differ, but I'm actually very proud of Banks. So they met for the first time today, guys. When I first got Harvey, he was a little bit sick. So we wanted to keep him separate from Banks. And then last week, in the midst of like Kelowna and Bailey not feeling well, we didn't have a chance to get them to meet either. So they're basically in love and dating now. (laughs) First date really escalated quickly. Harvey's like looking at me. He's like, hell no, mom. Like Banks tries to... Whoa. I just called her Bailey. Banks (laughs) tries to bite Harvey like aggressively you're making my dog sound like a terrorist she is a terrorist I literally but you told, don't need to announce it i've literally told you all day i'm actually really proud of banks i thought it was gonna go a lot worse she did almost you're proud of her for biting aggressively she almost she doesn't bite guys she just thinks she's playing well she just like snarls yeah that's the correct word but she almost literally choked herself to death today when yeah, they herself, met outside she's also self-inflicting so we wanted them to meet outside of her territory and it, she literally had like was convulsing and shaking and freaking out and her eyes were red and she was choking herself we, I was- she survived um but we've yeah harvey's the cute and banks is the psycho so we're very on brand here but like harvey likes her when she's staring at him he'll like lick her paw and just be like we were playing western showdown music while they were staring at each other just laughing to ourselves we'll post a video yes we will it's so cute um but anyway speaking of our cute but psycho dogs do you want to kick off our cute but psycho this week sure but i'm gonna start with my psycho honestly i was gonna use the fact that they finally met as my cute but i'm gonna have to quickly brainstorm here i thought that you were gonna use that so, so I'm I gonna <laughs> I'm gonna say my psycho is that I broke into Jillian Harris's house last week you didn't break it <laughs> yes i did you make it sound so dramatic the nanny or someone was there there was it their nanny yeah okay we is that the correct it's also word? not breaking in if the homeowner asks you to go there <laughs> no it's funny you guys because we were helping out with this photo shoot for bambi and birdie which was super fun and i got to hang out with babies all day it was the best day of my life um and they needed this gray tablecloth for their shoe and and i was i drove bailey and so i was like anything you guys need like just let me know and i can run out and grab it and so jillian's like jackie can you go to my house and grab this tells me where it is i write it down she's like so when you get there you have to like literally push the gate open so hard and i'm like oh okay because she has a gated in yeah, house the side gate though Were you no doing the main gate? you you can't get through the the side gate yes, you, you can't have, have done it a dozen times the black one yes the car one yes okay that's the one i went through is that but the side gate or no, the main there's gate the, there's the gate of the front of her house yeah 
there's the car gate but there's also a little man-made side okay gate. that was completely locked i could, wouldn't oh. even budge i had to push my way through the car one and it wasn't even opening like i literally had to get through it and then my my backpack's getting like stuck behind i'd it. really like to ask her for this footage okay so then you should and then i don't know like i didn't tell her this but i didn't knock i just went in her <laughs> house <laughs> And I didn't want to tell you guys what I saw. Because I don't know why. Nacho and cilantro were there. and I. <laughs> it is nacho cilantro and You know peaches. what I meant. Nacho and peaches were there. And I had, I don't know why I got excited. And then I was like, should I knock? No, I'm just going to go in. And then you, her, what is there a nanny? What's the correct word? Like a house carer. Housekeeper. But she called her the Did nanny. Did she? Okay. Her nanny like came running to the door and was like... <gasps> hi <laughs> and i well, really scared it could, yeah people could break in yeah, there for sure so i was like hi sorry um jillian sent me here and she probably thought it was like some crazy person fan breaking into the house just came for the dirty uh she was like <laughs> yeah the dirty throw. tablecloth yeah she was like okay and i was like um i need uh and then i like blanked and then it was, <laughs> i pulled out my notes from my phone and i'm like okay i wrote it down and i like read it out to her and she was like okay like i literally think she thought i was like some psycho Probably, but she still stalker. gave you the tablecloth she did yeah yeah anyways, anyways. what's your cute the dogs yeah okay good chat <laughs> um <laughs> Well, my cute is the photo shoot because something that we were working on for a few months um, and the collaboration was top secret, but Fresh Nutrition, Tori, which is Jill's cousin and player Bambi Birdie are actually collaborating and they're doing a capsule of pajamas. They're so cute. Uh, You can go on Play's Instagram and see like the highlights behind the scenes if you want or go on Tori's or Bambi and Birdie's. I'm sure they save them too. But there, yeah, it was a crazy house full of kids. There was like 50 so people cute. between like set production and all of that. But yeah, it was really, it was fun. It was cool. Um, yeah. You did. Okay. You're leaving out like a key factor that you, what, took on planning that whole shoot? Uh, not all of it. It was a team effort for sure. But I was like helping organize it. Well, you killed it. Well, thank you. It looks really great. I kind of just stood there when it was happening. But though, like you, I wasn't, you like, organized the, the photographer. And, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Stuff yeah. Like but that, so. again, team effort. But yeah, it really came to I'm so excited to see the photos and I mean it's we have to kinda of wait till spring. So yeah, it's not launching till March, sorry, but it's really, really cute and worth the wait. And the babies were so cute. Literally I felt so fulfilled with like oh okay. Annie. And, I know Annie's and really what cute. Was Miles. Oh my gosh. Miles. You guys when you see the like photos, a little baby Elvis. You'll be like, I remember that time Jackie was gushing over the babies because they were so cute. Okay, well when are you not gushing over babies? That's true. Anyways, my psycho, um, this was a few weeks back, so I had to go to, I feel like the dogs are going to attack each other right now. I had to go to my storage unit to, which is where I hold inventory for state of grace. And I had, I load everything into the back of my SUV. So I put my keys down because I had to use both hands and I put them on not like your bumper but what do you call that just like the lip of the back of your suv like you know how yeah you close the hatch yeah. there's still a part of it that sticks out so i put it on that so i'm loading things into the back of my trunk and then i close my trunk but i forgot my keys were there and the rest of my car is lo- or no no so the hatch on i don't have here's the thing about my car it's manual i'm ghetto like poor oh gosh, whatever. little girl <laughs> Poor little, poor, <laughs> poor little, little girl. girl. Um, so I can't just like go to the front of my car and like unlock everything. The hatch on my trunk is locked. But yeah, that's pretty ghetto because like normally you can hit the unlock button. And, yeah, yeah. So like the front of my car is unlocked. I can get in because I left my driver door open. But my keys are not inside of the trunk. They're like wedged underneath the hatch because I like slammed it. So I'm trying so hard to like pull them out. It's not working. I there's literally people standing around like just kind of (laughs) watching, like wondering what I'm doing. And so then I go into the back of my fully loaded up SUV. Like I I, I have to crawl to the back of the trunk, but it's got stock in it now. So I'm like pulling the boxes over the seats then i try to like see if there's a release from the inside nope nope 
So I'm sitting there, I'm Googling how to manually release a Jeep. There's no manual release. You have to actually be like unscrew the covers. So normal person wouldn't damage their vehicle. You are kidding me. It was already kind of cracked from hitting my head on it once. So, on your head? Yeah, I hit my head on it once. No, you closed something. I mean, then you've cracked it oh, twice. Oh, yeah, I've cracked it twice. The first time it was my head, and then I closed it. And it her plastic, cracked. like, protective of, you know, on the inside yeah. of your trunk. So, like, when you lift the hatch up, it's what would be above your head. <laughs> so, seeing that it's already a little cracked, I'm like, what's a bit more? I punch it. You literally just, like, were like, fuck it. I was so like I had a place to be I had a phone call to get on I was over it like wasting time is one thing that I really just don't want to ever do I would rather deal with like a damaged vehicle <laughs> afterwards <laughs> I know that's a really fucked up yeah, logic that's not normal at all I'm not saying it is yeah so I punch it and I'll post a photo of the damage <laughs> but anyways I weaseled my way my hand in there and I found the latch and I like had to jimmy like both my hands in there and like unlatch it and then like push at the same it was like a very I don't know what MacGyver means but a MacGyver move I feel like that's the right terminology I don't know what that means either but I I'm feel gonna like MacGyver go is like an Indiana Jones character sounds great yeah I don't know <laughs> um so yeah I did that and then I was like wow if I ever got kidnapped I'd really be able to like escape <laughs> so you literally punched your car out to get your keys yeah, it worked. Oh, my gosh. You guys, we didn't even tell you a few weeks ago, Bailey sent me to her storage unit and because her credit card <laughs> had fraud on it, her storage unit couldn't charge her card for her storage unit. So then she wasn't able to get in and I couldn't get in. And I literally drove all the way out there for no reason. This that sounds like the stupidest story, but it was a very long, complicated and, process. And then I went again and couldn't get in. Remember? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The storage unit and us are cursed. Mm-hmm anyways that's my psycho for the week but we also have some guests um we said we were gonna read these from our friendships oh my god words are hard um so we we're gonna read our friendships cute but psychos and we've been forgetting so we're gonna read some for you um i think i have three and you have two so i'll start okay I just gotta find it uh, okay, so Leanne Marshall said, my boyfriend of five and a half years went away on business this week, and I'm such a weirdo that I went into his dirty hamper and pulled out one of his shirts to sleep in so that I could smell him. Hashtag obsessed. I feel like that's pretty normal. Okay, you know what, though? Like, I don't know. I wear Jordan's work shirts that are not dirty because that's kind of gross because he works outside. But like guys, work shirts don't like, I don't know. Guys, dirty smell isn't always dirty. It's just like... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just me because, like, I grew up with grandparents. Like, my grandpa was a farmer. Like, that kind of, like, weird smell. Like, it's not, like, musty, but, like... I mean, guys are, like, a guy scent is a little musky. Yeah, it's just, so like, it nice. Kind of, it's kind of, like, like, it's dirty. It's, like, it already kind of smells like a it's guy. It's, like, comforting. Yeah. I so, get it. We get you, Leanne. It's not fun. that psycho. I mean, I'm wondering how long it was sitting in that yeah. hamper, though. <laughs> like, we're boxers on top of it because that's kind of nasty. <laughs> But no judgment. Okay, read one of yours. Um, okay. I haven't read any of these, by the way. Baby Mama of Dragons. <laughs> Fairy Game of Thrones. Yes, Khaleesi. Um, a girl that I took her and her daughter in after her divorce and helped her get on her feet, not only robbed my house, but then slandered me online. <laughs> we are currently going through the court mess. Girl, I am so sorry. That really sucks. Okay, wow. Um. Yep. That's, I'm Good, sorry. That's crazy. Some people suck How? and I hope that you have alcohol. And I hope that you win this court case. Well, yeah, I, I believe in, I mean, how could she not? That sounds crazy. Uh, okay. Our good friend, Sarah Nicole, the bird's papaya. Oh dear. She's got a cute Anna psycho for us. So cute. I impressed my husband's boss by getting him a drink at a work event. Psycho, I told my husband's boss that I went on a three-day bender and have bruises all over my body from a stripper pole without any context of it being a bachelorette party and a fitness class. I love that. Like, what? That's so funny and so her. Also, the best part is Sarah used to also work at this place, so it was also her former boss. Yeah, like, I bet you I bet you Shane, though, just heard her talking about this and was like, you know what? That's Kay. my girl. I love Shane so much. Did you see her stories yesterday? Yeah, I did. About him turning on the stove? Yes. Okay, if anybody hasn't seen this story from Sarah, it was so funny. I died laughing. Um, she posted 
this little like she typed it out it wasn't like a visual story but i guess she asked shane to turn on the stove for dinner and he wa- she hears him he walks up to it and he's like "Ooh, baby you like it when i touch you like that <laughs> and i was just like this is my dream guy like that's like that's the sense of humor i love that's so like funny. joey from friends yeah humor. it's so good yeah it's so good she got her joey all um, right um emily lavinskas which honestly i love that last name lavinskas we're probably saying it wrong probably but it sounds cute um she said i've drunk called my boyfriend more than once in our near eight year relationship so this is, sounds like me sobbing uncontrollably on the floor and telling him i wanted him to propose oh but it doesn't end there folks the first time i did this was about two-ish years into our relationship when we were 18 and 21 we're still together so i guess i didn't scare him off entirely i mean hey you waited two years like that's a long time i think that's more of like a cute i tell jordan when i mean I'm- the sobbing on the floor crying uncontrollably is a little psycho <laughs> propose to me i tell jordan when i'm sober that i want him to propose to me and ask him when he's gonna put a ring on it so you just got a dog <laughs> chill yeah i know but also i want to go to another wedding yeah i just well but i don't you even, gotta make sure it's like a cool one i don't even want to get married right away i want to be engaged for a few years so we're like running out of time here oh god you're gonna have so many people ask you questions if you do that yeah it's gonna well. get annoying real fast <laughs> Maybe i just, just want to bring on my finger okay so i can just like show it to people at work yeah but when don't I'm... you want to wait till he's like in a really steady paying job and you can get like the ring you deserve i feel like jordan would know one of the dogs farted or it was you it was not me i Say don't know sometimes i wonder if you're like banks no, you and then I it's really it. you. <laughs> you know what's nice for banks though she now we can we don't know who to blame that is true She's but it's still hook. probably her also she usually jumps up and like smells it and then runs away oh, yeah, so that'll true. be a telltale <laughs> sign um okay our last one is from ali underscore i think it's a double underscore sophia it was our last night in vegas this week i went from having the time of my life out partying to literally sobbing why are our friendships crying so much <laughs> i think it's the drinks uh to literally sobbing on the walk back to our room as well as while lying in bed because I was talking to my boyfriend about how our dog is my best friend and that I missed her and couldn't wait to get home to see her. Usually it's me telling him the dumb shit he did while drunk, but this time he got back and filmed it. Fake eyelashes were falling off. My hair was a rat's nest while also wearing his boxers because I was too drunk to find my own PJs. It was a cute look. Let me tell you all while sobbing my heart out in a way that would make you think someone died nope just missed my dog we also had only been away three nights lol honestly okay. relate yeah but i want to see this video oh yeah can you okay. send it to okay, us okay al you have to send it to us come on and if you don't want us to post it fine but like if you're game let us post on the stories we posted questionable things about ourselves oh my gosh yes I, yes please Allie. we'll send you jackie's fight video if you send us <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll do an exchange but i can't post it on my uh I know, that's fine. On our stories that's a liability issue <gasps> guys i forgot to tell you did it no i don't think i shared it on i borrowed my mom's car and on um the back she has a bike rack so you can bring bikes and she's literally giving me her car and she's so cute and tries to be so funny which she is funny she just like i don't know she's funny and cute and she goes oh like if you need to steal a street sign put it right here i already told bailey this but like oh man so we also cute. okay this is like the longest intro ever guys sorry but we didn't talk about our drive home from Kelowna. oh dear god <laughs> okay we'll try and make this as short as possible PTSD. so it's not like but yeah okay so jackie and i drove home from Kelowna after the bambi and birdie photo shoot and both of our phones were being used by the children at the photo shoot so for had, angry birds yeah for angry birds <laughs> um so we had a very little battery for this four-hour drive and we her the charger in your mom's car wasn't working but you like you could only uh, yeah no it wasn't working it would work for like a millisecond and then it would be like connection literally a millisecond like we're not exaggerating we tried everything you guys and then both eventually both of our phones died yeah so we couldn't play any music so then we go through sue shady's cds there's not a lot of options let me tell you we had (laughs) Uh, screamo screamo like literally my mom's friend he has his own band and he does screamo so she's very supportive of him and has the the cd if you guys want to know who it is it's called riverview look it up 
yeah like the mental hospital not my thing but like the <laughs> mental like the mental hospital <laughs> um then there was bruce springsteen yeah then there was uh, some, johnny reed johnny reed and the final- which jackie and i don't like country no and then the one we landed on because it was like the closest it was the best out of the four was a shaggy cd and there was only that one good shaggy song that say hey sexy lady i like you. you sound just like shaggy <laughs> wow but that was a torturous ride home so torturous so then i decided that i was gonna make up a game for us because i found a deck of cards oh, yeah so the game to occupy is because at this point we still had like two and a half hours was I was we were going to I just literally shuffled the deck and I held it in my hand and we would both try and guess what card it was going to be. And before we started, we would make a bet. So the first bet was that whoever lost had to moon a car. So we're going through in my it. mom's car in your mom's car. Sorry, mom. Um, maybe you should have better CDs, Sue. <laughs> <laughs> uh so it actually went by so much faster than i thought because yeah. you got one right and i had to moon a moving vehicle yeah who knows if they even saw mom so don't worry <laughs> yeah i don't know um and then i lost again and i had to sing acapella acapella a song and we chose maroon five she will be loved yeah classic beauty and then which we couldn't record for you guys like I none know, of this stuff because our dead. phones are dead so that's probably for the best <laughs> And then then, I redeemed myself and I won the next two, which I had to. (laughs) You still have to do one. You didn't actually do one. So I had to ask someone when we got back in town for their number. Like I was hoping for like a really old dude, which honestly, every person we pulled up to, like their car windows were up. They were like, yeah, there was the one that we were going to do was a really young boy. And we were like, no, we don't want to mess with him. We felt bad. And I didn't. Yeah. We didn't want him to actually be like, oh yeah here you go yeah and then the second one or the, yeah the second one i had to do was once we got to chilliwack and we were going towards surrey so if people you, who don't yeah. know where this is Kelowna is like chilliwack is like the last 30 minute to 40 minute yeah. stretch of leaving Kelowna coming back into where we live so the joke or the bet was that jackie would have had to have asked a car and been like this is the right way to Kelowna, right we've been driving for quite a while and haven't hit it yet we're just want to make sure we're going the right like, direction we've been on the road for two hours and Kelowna is this way right and so we pulled up to this this older guy like he had two kids in the car and i was like excuse me sir is Kelowna this way and we're like at a standstill in traffic in chilliwack towards opposite way of Kelowna. and he's like chilliwack Oh, sorry. He didn't, get, that. he didn't understand he was like, what Kelowna? we're saying. Yeah. He was like, I don't know what that was. And I was off the hook. So that was great. Yeah. But but it would have been really funny because they would have been like, um, it's actually four hours the other way. <laughs> so yeah, guys, if you need a game to play and you have a deck of cards. Yeah, that's the game. Um. Okay. Well, did, we have. Did we even say what game it was? It wasn't a real game. I made it up. Oh, okay. Anyway, it's called the BJ game. Yeah, wow. The BJ road trip. It's actually PG, so you just have to guess the card that Bailey's flipping over yeah, or whoever. That. Oh, you did. I didn't yeah. hear that. Okay. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the discussion. Uh, anyways, we have the one and only Caitlin Bristow on our podcast this week. Friendships. We sat down with her and Ramen and Legend Leslie. Well, Legend Leslie was just in the background, <laughs> but um, we sat down with her while we were in Kelowna and had some mimosas and kayla from lavender and grace is kind of the peanut gallery in this episode she was a little shy you might hear a little hee-hees every yeah, now a little, yeah. that's her <laughs> <laughs> um but we hope you enjoy the episode and we will be back next week which i think i say then i'm gonna cut this out and, oh enjoy the episode friendship enjoy the ins- uh, <laughs> <laughs> what enjoy the episode friendship <laughs> All right. The podcast queen is here. I was going to say she's in the house, but like we're in your house. Yeah, so. in the house, in my house. In the house. Uh, we have the one and only Caitlin motherfucking Bristow. Eee! Why do I keep doing that noise? I don't know, but I love it. It means you're excited. I love being on other people's podcasts. Aww, I just thank you so much. You. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, of course. I'm so excited. And you are already like a familiar voice to our listeners because you do our intro. I, 
Okay, that's so cool. I know. I feel like th- that was one of the things I wanted to cross off my bucket list in life was doing a voiceover for something. So, <laughs> well, I'm glad it could be the big podcast. Yeah, <laughs> that <laughs> my next not goal. Like- <laughs> my next goal, Family Guy. Okay, well, yeah. you, I'm oh sure that I'll you send in this. It. I'll send yeah. in this <laughs> as my like demo tape. They'll love oh it. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> Um, so we're in, Col- well, I guess like Kelowna Vernon, Okanagan, Okanagan, um, hanging out at the legend Leslie's house. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. I, this is like my happy place in the summers. And, and what? we're both we, going to say the same thing. We we met met oh, yeah. <laughs> He's I'm also here too. podcasting with us. Yep, Jackie he's... drove up this morning and she literally goes like, I'm excited for today, but honestly, like, I'm just really excited to meet Robin. I totally get it. I'm I totally get it. <laughs> no, do, I I get it. I, I totally and then get it. when they told me that he was going to be in the backseat with me, my eyes started watering <laughs> and Kayla was like, I can see you in the rear view mirror. Are your eyes watering? Are you going to cry? I was like, maybe a little bit. That's so cute. We also have Kayla here from Lavender and Gray. She's like our third co-host today oh gosh, hello. co-co-host <laughs> she has the most soothing voice ever you do i always get told that it's too quiet though no you are way more quiet than us so hold the mic closer like make out with it even okay. though there's like That's always, dog hair on it okay. sorry i always tell people to eat the mic <laughs> yeah. eat that mic um but Roman's such an angel baby he is I he's love him. he's the biggest blessing in my life Aww. i mean and jason i was gonna say <laughs> <laughs> sorry jay yeah no, jason feels the same way like he was he didn't really understand my obsession with Tucker and he was like, come on, that's like your ex's dog. Like, I'm like, no, it was mine too. Mm-hmm. And he didn't ever understand the obsession until we got Rom and he's like, I totally get it now. And oh. now he even asks questions about Tucker and like, oh, did Tucker do this? And like, Aww. did Tucker's nose crack like this? Oh, he went so, like he, now he's curious because he understands the love for like a dog now. They just become like your legit baby. Like, I don't yeah. even know what I would do if I had a child because the I, amount that I love my dog is fucking psychotic. It's frightening. <laughs> I, I I'm just the same. I, I'm concerning. No, I'm I'm the exact same way. I'm. It's made me question if I can handle kids because. Oh my god, me too. L- yeah, like his nose cracked, and I honestly was. My mom was like, "You are being a helicopter mom." <laughs> this is, I literally got called one last night out of yeah. fire with my sister's house. They were like, "You are a helicopter yeah. mom with your dog." I'm like, "Yeah, but what do you expect? Like, if anything ever happened on your watch, how?" guilty would you feel no i can't oh my god i can't even think about it i like he poops and i get happy like if it's like <laughs> a, if it's a good poop i'm like i'm so proud of you <laughs> like i love when he poops oh, oh my god i cute. love it yeah um okay so tell us like what's been going on in life because i feel like you're always doing so much and yes. can you tell I mean, by the bags under my eyes oh dude when i woke up this morning i literally was like trying to like lymphatic drainage yeah. under my eyes because they were so <laughs> puffy i feel the same way right now bad but i don't, um, I don't get hungover i just look hungover <laughs> you don't look hungover your skin is always glowing too i don't know how do you not get hungover i don't know i'm just I'm, it's a blessing and a curse because you I just can drink, drink all the time. too oh i put it back yeah yeah you think no, you've I'll, never thrown up from being too drunk i've never in my whole career of drinking thrown up not one you also hate throwing up though don't you throwing up is my biggest fear in life (laughs) i have a friend like that too throwing up her birds i oh (laughs) (laughs) whoa that's a really good question would i rather be in a room with birds or throw up i think birds wow yeah it's a throwing up is a legit fear yeah i haven't i was sick the other day after mexico i got some sort of bug from mexico or maybe i drank the water or something i was violently throwing up and cleo poor cleo was like rubbing my back like like telling me to breathe through it and i was just like yelling no (laughs) while throwing up and like crying and then in the fetal position it was like my life was over and i was like i would rather feel so sick to my stomach for a full day than throw up once and feel feel better what's the fear i don't know just like something coming up Sorry, we should probably shouldn't talk about it. It's really <laughs> that's scares me. PTSD. No, 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 that's a good question. I don't know what it is. Huh. I don't know. It makes me, I don't know. Maybe it makes me feel like I'm dying or something's wrong okay, with me. Okay, that's fair. I, I mean, fair. yeah, if somebody likes throwing up that's twisted. Yeah, that's weird. I like, just, I've just never enjoyed, yeah, I don't think anyone enjoys throwing up. No. Yeah. yeah, my one girlfriend, when she throws up, she'll cry at the same time. That's just me. Just sob. That's me. She's scared of it too. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's me. I sob through the whole thing and yell no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yeah, what have I been up to? Throwing up? Uh, <laughs> Um, well, I feel like, where do I start? Because I'm doing a lot right now. I'm planning my next <laughs> podcast tour. It's called the fall crawl. I love it. So yeah. Gosh. It's, I don't, I'm not going to um, say what cities yet. Cause I'm not 100%. Um, but that's really exciting. Cause I loved my last spring break tour. It was so much fun. 
And then I've got my wine has been released, Spade and Sparrows. Congrats. Thank mm. you. Oh my gosh. Do you oh. know this story? <laughs> you remember yeah. what she did there? Shame. Yeah. Shame. Shame. Yeah. My favorite part was though, like your first response was you just thought we crushed it in like five yeah. minutes and drank it. Yeah. And then I was like, no, no. If I was joining in and didn't hear that episode, Bailey got the one and only Spade and Sparrows bottle in Canada. Yeah. And I immediately broke it five minutes later. Mm-hmm. Yep. I like still feel a little bit of tension here between the two of you. <laughs> oh, there is. I don't know if it'll ever go away. Yeah. 100%. I know. I'm really guilty. I don't like to freak eye contact. <laughs> That's funny because you can't. I was like, oh, you can just go get another bottle. Oh, wait. Yeah. No, you can. It's only available in the States right now. But good news is it will be in Canada. Ooh, eventually. So the funny so thing exciting. is, though, is I saw it and I was like, wouldn't it be like hilarious and classic us if it broke? And then, yeah. of course, you manifested it. that. I'm shit. so sorry. Wow. The best part also was that Cleo literally sacrificed a sweater oh. to fit it in her luggage. Oh. And it was in a whole, like, what was, what is that called? Vancouver, Van City Business, business space? space event. Like, it was a an whole event. Room. So everyone saw stopped it. and stared at me. I wet all of Bailey's product boxes for oh, her stuff. Man. It was just a bad It was a very time. classic That's PJ a moment. Point. That's a low point. <laughs> it's a cringe moment. Yeah, yeah. it's cringy. It's okay. <laughs> um, and what else? Is there anything oh, yeah. else? Um, well, you see this clip in my hair? Oh yeah, I know. I heard a little uh, a little juice on that. It's a do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you heard a do edit, but this is it in my hair. So yeah, we're doing some clips and fun stuff. They're so up with that, cute. So. I love it. Yeah, it's been really fun. I feel like I'm just finally at a point where I'm doing everything that I love. And it took me, I mean, not very long because four years is not that long to work hard to get somewhere that you want to be. But I'm finally like, okay. Girl doesn't have to sell the flat tummy teat, but nothing against the ones who do because that shit is good money. But I'm just, I just feel like I'm like, yes, everything I'm doing is what I love. Do you ever have moments where you like, this is just me, but, um, you're like, I have everything that I like wanted. Like you have a great relationship. You have your little angel baby dog. You have like a thriving career, your podcast. Like, do you ever get scared of it? Like that you just like have everything? Yes. No, that's my biggest fear. I'm like, what could go wrong now? Because this is too good. Like life is too good. And I mean, I say that I still have struggles with everything. Of course. But it's so crazy because it all happened and turned around so fast. Like this time last year. Excuse you, Raman. (laughs) (laughs) He knows I'm about to bring up my dark times. (laughs) (laughs) He's growling. I love it. (laughs) <laughs> settle down uh so this time last year i was sitting at this exact spot just like in a really bad place crying could barely get out of bed in the mornings like i came here to just like obviously this is stunning and great view and be with family and i was just in such a bad place and now this year looking back i'm like holy crap so much changed in one year i feel like things became established i've never thought in my life I'd be in another relationship and happy and have a golden retriever and just like all these I'm like what in a year I remember just talking to me like 2019 is gonna be your year you did say like I just had a feeling that it was gonna like be your year and it's so cool to see everything that you've accomplished and like how it really has changed for you like so positively yeah I feel like it's crazy how much just one negative relationship can change everything around you it was just in a bad place it wasn't always negative but at that time it was just in such a bad place and once you get rid of something toxic how much you attract positive things and like good things in your life to let go of one thing like it's crazy and sometimes when you're in it you just really don't realize the magnitude of it yeah you have to be removed to have clarity I as soon as I was removed the more time that went on the more I was like oh shit that was bad (laughs) (laughs) that was that was not a healthy relationship okay what is your favorite thing that you've been doing lately though um honestly training ramen (laughs) out of everything I I just feel like he's like I don't know he just came into my life at the perfect time and I just feel so much pride in like rescuing him and making him have this great life that and I feel like I get so excited to see other people's excitement over like my wine and stuff I think that's my favorite to do like launch days when it's whether it's due or spade and sparrows I just love seeing people like I, I don't know. It's like everyone that follows me is, uh, is a woman. So it's nice to see everyone like comes together and bonds over it. And they talk about which ones they like and they do trades sometimes. And it's just really cool to see. And you work so hard on the wine label. Like it was such a, a, 
a process obviously because like wine has legalities around it but yeah I remember like from start to finish the time it took like people don't see that so like to actually have that reward at the end with people drinking your wine that's That's cool because I never want people to think I just slap my name on something like it's this has been like a year and a half that Mm -hmm. I've been trying to start it and figure it out and that's yeah like being Canadian and living in the states and trying to start a business and yeah like everything that goes into it has been so crazy but it was definitely fun to go to Santa Barbara and try all the wines (laughs) and pick my favorite that was my part of it rough yeah job <laughs> yeah i'm not complaining <laughs> do you have a favorite um that's like asking me if i have a favorite child i'm so sorry <laughs> <laughs> uh i do think my favorite is the red just because i love red wine and but in the summer i don't know gosh the rose is paint so us too. a picture of where you're gonna drink each one okay so red i am like cuddled up in a cabin with jason by the fire after a nice hot tub Oh, okay. <laughs> or <laughs> or I'm drinking it after making a delicious linguine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would get you guys. We're all hungry now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it was like like cuddling with a man. Yeah, that's nice. Linguine. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um then the rosé any time of the year it is really really good. It's just like it's a good summer sipper, but it's also just like a really easy drinking rosé. So let's say on a patio because yeah. rosé on a patio is everybody's <laughs> yeah. favorite thing to do. And then the white, I again, like if, if any, I think a lot of people, if they're white drinkers, they're only white drinkers. And this one, I just wanted to make it so it wasn't too dry and it wasn't too sweet. It was kind of in the middle because I don't like sweet wine, but I know some wine. people do, but I... I like really dry, but some people don't. So I tried to make it in the middle and I just feel like it's, again, just a really easy drinking white that you want to drink. Oh, I know how to get you guys. Oh, yes. That you want oh, to drink with a n- <laughs> <laughs> the suspense. Oh, fresh halibut oh. and maybe some spring mixed greens. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, you're totally bullshitting this, but I love it. <laughs> I don't know drink that shit with anything anywhere I don't know I love white in the summer though like I really yeah, I do, do yeah. yeah I do what's too. the blend of the white I know the other ones but... it's a pinot grigio okay yeah okay, I love pinot grigio mm-hmm. yeah yeah my favorite we could have tried it I'm sorry Bailey's still giving me no that yeah. was the rosé I know the rosé is and when you were talking amazing. about it I could feel Bailey's eyes mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's I really like the color of my rosé I do too yeah and I love your labels so yeah. like everything that's it was really nice because I got to work with friends so um like one of my good friends husband's was the creator of the label and he's really a talented guy and you know t um Cleo, uh, sister. Cleo sister and her and her husband are just like i don't even know how to describe them they're just the most creative, so creative inspiring couple that just like i don't know he could i just knew i wanted him to do the label and he nailed it I absolutely love it. nailed so, it so good. and if you look really closely there is spade and sparrows in there if you if you look i can't look <laughs> <laughs> PTSD. I can't drink it. I'm saving it for my mom. Oh my gosh, of course. But don't let me hold it. Yeah, don't yeah, let Jackie touch it. Imagine I drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Oh my gosh. Okay. I haven't seen it in person yet, so it's Oh yeah, I see stunning. it. Did you smuggle it here? Yeah, I did. Yeah. So, so you, cool. What would happen if you got caught at the border? Um, I think it's fine because it was in my um luggage and it was just like I was and bringing been it out, as a gift. Yeah, she's been out of the States yeah. long enough. Or out of Canada long enough to bring it in. Where's yeah. the spade? I mean sorry, the sparrows. Oh, I see it. I see it? Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Yeah. It's really well done. And and somebody read the back of it. Okay, Kayla. I got to have my soft fun. Voice. I got to have my fun yeah. with the back of the labels. Speak into the mic, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what a quinky dink. Aromas of rose petals in my rosé. A little romance from you to from you to you yep. with hints of wild strawberries, apricots, and white raspberries. This is what I call self love. Hashtag treat yourself. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> I got to do different ones on the back I of each it. bottle. So okay, you should probably put this away before we break it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you can just stare at it. Okay, okay. cool. Okay, okay. this is how down. things happen with us. Though. Oh, and oh. it says great legs, full body. The wine's not bad either. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a you quote. I, I love that. I love that's it. What's, that's what's been fun about doing all these things is make giving a little Caitlin edge should twist to it so that people are like, oh, that's so her. I love it. Yeah. Um, what's one thing you've been doing though that like from social media we wouldn't really know? Oh, um, 
crying. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm just kidding. This got <laughs> deep. Uh, yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm like, I don't know. I share everything on social media. What do, do you know anything that I do that I don't share? I mean, I don't really share my workouts on social yeah. media. I don't know why. I think I might be a little bitter at like fitness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, hey, you guys, they want me to only post about working out. Um, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know, meditating and exercise I don't show a lot of. And I love doing both of those things. They make me feel good. Uh, I feel like I share everything. You do. You're, you're very open. That's why I was so curious if there was something. Is yeah. there anything coming up for like do or Spade and Sparrows that you can share? Spade and Sparrows, I do have something coming up, but I can't share okay. because it's a big surprise. And I ain't no freaking dummy. I'm going to announce it on my podcast. <laughs> 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 I think I know what it is. Uh, yeah, you probably do. Uh, and then the the clips are really exciting. And other hair accessories are going to be coming in to do just because. So exciting. I'm, I'm still obsessed with scrunchies, but I just want to kind of have more options. Yeah, of all the brand. Yeah. I love it. Smart, evolve. smart businesswoman. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. I want to talk about ramen. Okay. I know. I have a few questions. Okay. So bunnies, buddies. Yeah. How did you find out about them? Colton, actually, the last bachelor, he um, rescued a dog from Bunny's Buddies and I saw it on his Instagram. And then I, Jason loves German Shepherds and that's what Colton rescued. And so I checked out their page to look at the dogs and then I saw how many golden retrievers they had and I was like, oh dear Lord, I'm in trouble. Golden retrievers are like my like favorite dog in the world. And so I started following it and I was like, well, now I can like I should donate money to their surgeries and like the, the, this is such an awesome organization. And so I started I donated first to ramen surgery, actually. What you doing, bubs? <laughs> He's so doing? freaking cute. He's so cute. Uh, so he had a fractured pelvis and a broken leg and something happened to his femur from being kicked. So sad. By humans. Those fucking sickos. Honestly, and that, my eyes are watering. Right. No, That's I know. So it make, I was so devastated when I saw his story and then they needed money for his surgery. And I was like, uh, yep. So I donated <laughs> and Jason was like, um, that's cute. Like, that's so sweet that you donated, but we're, we're not getting a dog. <laughs> and I was like, well, You're like you thought. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, that's fair. It's like the timing. And then I talked to the owner and she was like, I, I just hate when people have excuses. And I was like, fuck, that's so true. Like, what do you mean? I don't have time. I'll make time. Change mm-hmm, your lifestyle yeah. a little bit, Caitlin. Like you can make him, you know, I have severe anxiety sometimes. I've got issues where I can have him as an emotional mm-hmm. support animal, which I get shit for online because people are like, you're abusing the system. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Would you like to see my medication? <laughs> <laughs> um, and what were we talking about? Wow. I just completely lost my train of thought. Oh, how oh, she said uh, no yeah. excuses. So then I was like, that's so fair. Like, why would I make an excuse to not save this dog's life? And then I called Jason and I said, I will resent you if we don't get this dog. And he was like, all right, let's get the dog. <laughs> <laughs> and so we did. And then, so yeah, it, they're, um, they save a bunch of dogs in China and South Korea from high kill shelters and they find them on the streets and it's just so sad. I've Such seen how they treat them too. It really is. They, they really do shock value on their Instagram too, which people need to see because they show how the dogs are treated when they're like found on the streets. They just shove them into cages and like treat them like they're freaking like sharks like they're gonna kill you and it's so sad it's i don't so understand sad. that i, don't I never either. will no it's i don't crazy. i mean it's a lifestyle over there they obviously like eat dog you know and like i remember seeing once and this will always stick with me like they'll kidnap people's dogs like actual pets yeah. on the street oh and like put gosh. them into the meat festival like, yeah and wild. they also yeah. torture them because they think it tastes better yeah because oh. it like makes oh the meat goodness. tender you know, isn't yeah that no, terrible? it's sick it's so sick Anyways, enough with that. So oh, yeah, God, yeah. You yeah, saved his life. <laughs> yes. What was the process like start to finish? How many months did it take till you actually got him? It actually was only one month. Oh, okay. It was pretty quick. Yeah, it was really quick. Um, Because he, he had gone through his surgery already. He had been neutered and had all his vaccinations. And so he was kind of ready. But the foster mom was like, I can't let go of him. And luckily she did. They get first dibs, right? Yeah, I think so. And, but I think she already had a bunch of dogs. So he was living with like five other Goldens and I feel a little bit guilty because I think he really loved having friends. And now I'm like, no, 
you're mine <laughs> and I'm, you're, your I'm your only friend <laughs> <laughs> maybe jason he probably gets so much more attention from yeah you. no he's very loved <laughs> very yeah. loved but yeah he flew all the way from south korea and it was just crazy like to see him come out of the crate after this whole journey and like he had got stuck at the border and he had to stay overnight somewhere and the poor guy was really just so scared and sometimes i feel sad to like leave him alone and i'm like wait this little gangster survived the streets of south korea <laughs> like this dog is badass yeah. he's fine Aww. yeah what was his first night at home like um just so cuddly and just wanted to be right next to me it was like they they always say when you adopt a dog that don't expect love at first sniff there was love at first sniff like he came out of that crate and I just cried rested watching his that video. head i get goosebumps like just thinking, he just rested his head and i hugged him and then he was like attached to me and oh came back to the house he didn't want to leave my side he just cuddled me he loved me it was just like like some dogs don't even give kisses at first because they're just like, where am I? Who is this? Mm-hmm. He was just the most loving Aww. and and um, he slept in his crate the first night and he totally slept through the whole night just perfectly fine. And then the next couple nights, oh, what was he? What were you doing down there? <laughs> you look guilty. Uh, the next couple nights, he just start, woke, would wake up in the middle of the night just howling, crying, like not Aww. knowing where he was. And he still sometimes Aww. does that. It's Aww. so sad. I don't nightmares. know if he has like nightmares. Yeah, it's the saddest Aww. thing in the world. Yeah. Well, such a sweetheart. What's yeah. one piece of advice to someone adopting a dog you would give? Um, just make sure you actually really want to save a dog and put in the work. Because a lot of people think like, oh, you see it on Instagram. It's so cute. And look at all, this dog gets so much attention. And it's like you have to really know that when you get this dog... <laughs> Are you coming to join the podcast? Yeah. Okay. Give me your phone. Yes. I'll take a photo of you. Oh my gosh. What a li- He's like a cat sometimes. He reminds me of like a house cat. Where are you He's going? just so like agile. Is Ramen. that the word? Ramen. Ramen, what are you doing? Oh, you oh. be a co host? <laughs> Not some mimosa? Go snuggle. Ramen. Ramen. Uh, oh, I love it so sweetie. much. He's wanting to join the party. It's a yeah. Dark, but they're still cute. Um, but yeah, I think it's like you have to know that you might have to put in a lot of work with the dog, with whether it's training or showing them love. You have to have a lot of patience, whether it be a train potty training, they don't know where they are. Like it's just it's a lot of work. And I just want people to know that because the last thing these dogs need is to find a home and then have to get up and move again. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm scared about because I my rescue, I'm scared every time I leave him, like right now, I left him today. I'm yeah. scared he's thinking I'm not going to come back. Yeah, I know. Aww. they. But once you come back a few times, they... They understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was listening to your podcast with Mystic Michaela, and yes. that was crazy what she said about him. No, she's him. insane. Like, even after the podcast, I showed her a picture of my girlfriend who had passed away, and she doesn't know that she didn't know my friend passed away she didn't know her name she doesn't know any, i've never talked about it on a podcast or anything and she was like told me the initials that we grew up That's together crazy. like she knew everything hmm. it was insane i totally believe in that stuff. so oh, so do i yeah. oh yeah me too did you do you soften his food now when you travel mm. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so and so because I I'm actually going to make his food for the month. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm going to go pick up like he eats beef cuz apparently goldens are a hot dog like the <laughs> he's a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> but they're like a like their insides are like hot and he always finds the AC and he likes being cool and so um beef is cooling meat where chicken would make him more oh, hot. Oh, interesting. And so yeah, I'm go- he eats beef kale carrots and peas so you like freshly prep all this food i'm going to but (laughs) farmer's dog i use farmer's dog they're freaking incredible i'm not just saying that because they pay me i actually really love what they do and they deliver it's only in the states though so this really doesn't help anybody (laughs) (laughs) it's all right fresh dog food to your door and it's like made like plated for yeah 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 um okay i want to switch topics a little bit i love ramen but um i want to talk about friendship because you travel so much and i'm just so curious like how has that been for you like a since being in the public eye but also with age like balancing with friends and traveling and like all that i feel like it's actually made my time with friends more quality like more quality time where i i had a really tough time making friends in nashville because i was never there And when I did come home, I just kind of didn't want to do anything but relax and just recharge. And so I, a lot of times friends would come visit me. So I didn't really make friends in Nashville, but I have a solid group of girlfriends out there now who I love. And I feel like we just spend quality time together. So because I'm gone and traveling so much and because of everything, when I do spend time with friends, I'll like make a few days of it. I'll go visit friends. I'll stay at their place for a few days. I'll, if they come out and visit, like it's just, I almost like it better. 
I feel like you really get quality time. Yeah. Yeah. And then like, how's it been? Because I know obviously like Bree's your best friend Mm -hmm. and like Cleo, I mean, Cleo you work with, so I'm sure you guys are talking all the time, but like, how is that with her being in, cause she's in Calgary and you're like all over. Well, Marco Polo. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It's my favorite app ever. Uh, cause we literally talk through the whole day every day. So it's, I mean, social media, thank God for technology because that's also how I keep in touch with friends all the time. But I just, I have a small group of like really good girlfriends. I just feel like I really cherish that and hang on to those. What have you learned like through all of that? Because I'm sure there's was friendships like after the show and all of that. Like what was your biggest lesson there? I think that, well, I just, I feel like a lot of times when I came out of the show, it was a lot of people that just wanted to like use and abuse me and just be my friend for the the wrong reasons, if you will. <laughs> uh, and I could, I just saw through it, to be honest with you. And so I, it just made me a little more like grounded and humble and happy to be with my real friends. I feel like, th- I feel like it made my friendships a lot stronger. It made all my relationships a lot stronger because I just cherished them more. Yeah, you're so good too. Like no matter how busy you get, because it's so easy to like not check in with people, but like you always ask how people are doing, and yeah, like, that's something well, I I've always valued about you. The ones I care about, I, yeah. I mean, I care about a lot of people, but like the, my true <laughs> good friends, like I really care about how they're doing and what they're doing, and and you find time for those people, because that I feel like a lot of people, my true friends, like they always make me feel special, and I'm like, why wouldn't I do the same for them? Yeah, I think even with age, like I've learned that just mm-hmm. quality over quantity yeah. and just like really age was a big thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like valuing the friendships you have because you only get 24 hours in a day, seven mm-hmm. days in a week. And like you could, there's people who want to hang out and I'm like, I would rather put my time into the friendships. Like I already yeah. have a hard enough time hanging out with my close friends mm-hmm. where. Yeah, exactly. That's where I want to put my energy. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. And then I have lost my question. Hold on here. <laughs> what are your favorite things to do with friends when you do get to actually like hang out with them? Oh, like I love going to wineries, obs. Uh, like I love, okay. I started a book club in Nashville and I actually love it because we don't talk about the book at all, but it forces <laughs> us to actually read and then get together. And then we actually just talk. I love that. So I like doing chill things. Like, um, I love going on trips. I love going on trips. It's hard to plan trips, but I love going on them because again, you get to have that quality time over a few days and see the world. So I would say traveling. I mean, I'm pretty lucky to be able to do that. Um, and drink wine. Spain sparrows. <laughs> and play games. I love playing games. You do, yeah. Like card games. Yeah, and- what's your favorite. favorite game? Oh gosh. My favorite game is Monopoly Deal. It's not the board game. It's a card game. And I, Jason, I played, I think every night. I've not heard of I've it. I've never heard of this. It's what? the best. I played it last night. <laughs> you have to, you have who, to who wins more? You or Jason? Jason did for, at first he beat me 27 times in a row. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm, you kept going good for you. Yeah, I kept going. <laughs> and then I started to like see his strategies and what he was doing. And I learned from it. And now it's very even. It's like, yeah. You caught on. Yeah. I caught on. That's why <laughs> you never give up. <laughs> he's so smart and he's a banker and he's so good with numbers and like, uh, but, you know, he just, I just feel like he's Strategy. meant to, yeah, yeah Monop- he's just like, Monopoly's made for him. Monopoly like, is yeah. made, it's his favorite thing. And then now I'm like, oh, I, I see what you're doing there. Did, <laughs> you, did you not get frustrated 27 times? Losing? Oh, I, I looked him right in the eyes and told him I hated him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I hate you right now. No, is, I got very frustrated. I'm so competitive. I'm yeah. so is competitive. Is really competitive? Yes. Okay. He's so competitive. We both are. And it's, but it's like, he, I'm more competitive than he is. He's. I'm a sore loser. He's Me not. Too. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm definitely a yeah. sore loser. What's his sign? I don't know. What's his birthday? Um, October 24th. Scorpio? Mm, My mom's I don't know. 30th, 30th. She's Scorpio. My boyfriend's the 5th. He's a Leo. No, oh. Libra. He's a Libra. Sorry. Oh, I'm not oh then I think you're right. I think he is a Scorpio. It, he's really close. Are very uh, hot-headed. Yep. My mom's... October. <laughs> he's a little... High. He can be hot-headed, but can't They're very men? passionate, though. Like oh, Scorpios are everywhere. <laughs> oh, wow. This is how I live my life. Um, they are very passionate. He is a very passionate person. Yeah, he's and a Scorpio. He, and he really seeks justice. That's what the mystic Michaela told me. And I've noticed that so much now. Like That's like my mom too. Yeah. She's a Scorpio and she's like that. Really? Yeah. yeah. She, he's all about being fair and he's very passionate. But he's very like, like we had a conversation the other day where I knew a fact and he was like, nope, nope. And I'm like, well, actually, that that's, that's an actual fact. Yeah. Nope, nope. I'm like, okay, you you are right then. <laughs> oh, um, 
How has it been with like him coming up to Okanagan and everything? Because he hasn't been here yet. He's no, met. he's. We drove. You know that one moment where you drive up from Vancouver and you like yeah. kind of oh, turn yeah. in the Okanagan, mm-hmm. like is just right there. He was like, "Are you kidding me?" I was like, "I know. I've been trying to explain it. I've showed you pictures, but until you see it, yeah, it's you like just a movie can't. Scene. Like, it's it just breathtaking. Yeah, and you feel at peace. It and, actually yeah. reminds me of like Europe. Like it feels a little European with the hills and the water and mm-hmm. the lifestyle. You know, we're drinking yeah. mimosas at what time mm-hmm. this morning? But that's very on. <laughs> Brand for yeah. me. <laughs> um, Roman, what are you doing? Get down. Hey. Um, yeah, it's, it's, he just loves it. He loves Vancouver too. He's been to Vancouver a few times, but um, yeah, he loves, loves the Okanagan. What was one thing that you learned about him that you were not expecting? Hmm. Um, I think part of it is that he actually is as sweet and just like great and romantic and everything that I oh thought. way to give us the juice <laughs> <laughs> He's I know just perfect. I'm yeah. trying to think he you know it's one thing and he would kill me for telling you this is that he worries he, I don't know how to explain it he does not care what people think of him but he worries about not but he does at the same time like that's like me too. that's yeah yeah like I guess that's me too yeah is it more like character though versus yes like, yeah and not for me like like for example we had we did a podcast and the headlines were like like e news picked it up and it said caitlin dry humps jason (laughs) on her period and gets off (laughs) and like he was mortified and i was like (laughs) 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 that's so funny like and then i was like yeah like i'm talking about my period like it's normal and you know it's uh, girls menstruate it's fine and we dry humped we had our clothes on it's not like something but you know that was really i think I mean, one, his family was probably like, what is happening to my son's life? Like the guy has his MBA, like moved four times and got all these promotions and like worked his way up for a bank company. He was VP. And now headlines are him dry, dry humping his girlfriend and he quit his job. Like, eh, you know, and my family is like, ha, did you see that headline? Like classic Caitlin. <laughs> and then his family is just like, oh my gosh, what's Aww. happening? You know, that's, I think, so I think one thing that surprised me was that he, I don't know that. He, I thought he was going to be a little more um, wild, like say anything, do anything. Yeah. I don't care what people think, but he's very um, reserved. He's very reserved. Uh, unlo- he can not be reserved, but he, <laughs> for the most part, is reserved. Yeah. Yeah. I guess especially with press too. And like he does come from, um, like he has a legit job. Yeah. So I get that. Yeah. 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 yeah I couldn't imagine getting taking something was that from a podcast that quote yeah and then they just blasted it yeah (gasps) and some people were like that's awesome like this is two consenting adults and she has her period it's not a big deal and then other people were like oh gross tmi and i'm like whatever oh my gosh (laughs) have they met you yeah i know i'm (laughs) like yeah some comments were like yeah, she, of course she talked about that. She has a <laughs> confessional segment yeah. on her podcast. I mean, that's pretty minor compared to some things right. you've shared. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm like, oh man, if they took like other quotes from the... Okay. <laughs> um, but that's the perfect segue because we're going to do a series of ours called Do You Ever? Okay. And it's period edition. Okay. Oh, is it? can we do it? Do you ever? Like, do? do you oh, yeah, we can. Yes, <laughs> we can. Ramen is chewing on your purse. And it's I, okay. No, it's not. It's really not. <laughs> on this canvas. I love him. Okay. Let him Let, live his best life. Really? <laughs> the ultimate dog. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I Just, would sacrifice anything for him. I know. Dog. That's very okay. sweet. Okay. She's like, he's hungry. Let him. Yeah. <laughs> but it's my gift. Okay. Um, Should I kick it off? Yeah. Kick it off so that we can kind of. So basically it's do you ever period edition. So things that you do on your period, but you wonder if other people do. And we put polls on our stories to see what our friendships. Okay. If, whose side they're on. <laughs> okay. And sometimes no one's on any side. <laughs> Um, so do you ever deny you're on your period to your significant other and get it the next day and hide it from them because you are emotional? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, say that again. I don't understand. Like, do you ever, okay, do you ever get, emo- wait, did I read it wrong? Hold on. No, do you ever just, get called you. out by Thank your you. significant other for being emotional and ask them asking you if you're on your period and you're like, no, I'm not. And then it comes the next day and you're like, 
Well, yes, fuck. every <laughs> month. But I feel like lately I've been very aware because I started this app called the P Tracker, and I will track my moods five days before, and now it is to the T. Really? really, the same moods for five days before my period. So now I'm very aware. Where I'll be like, I'm sorry, I am gonna be on my period. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what kind of mood? Like, is it only like bad ones? Yes, okay. I get super hungry. I get super irritable. I get super bloated. I get depressed. I cry. It's it's awful. Wait, so on your app, does it say like today you're going to feel? Yes. I can just look back in my moods from the previous, previous month and Whoa. be like, oh, there it is. What a revolution wow. this is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it's crazy. Um, this is great. Your uh, stepdad's walking in as I'm going to say like a do you We're ever period. We're talking about periods. <laughs> <laughs> he's got three daughters. Perfect. Yeah, he's got Nice to meet yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> he has three daughters we're okay um do you this is a i'm just going in for it yep do you ever forget that you have a tampon in and just yes. put another one in yes uh <laughs> bye, Rob. sorry bye, bye, Rob. Bye. <laughs> he's like and i'm out <laughs> um that happened to me once where i had to go to the hospital <gasps> what okay yeah. tell a story um because i did that and i didn't remember and so i took the, took the other one out and then like I don't know how many, like two weeks later. <gasps> Stop Ooh. it. Yeah. Okay, I've never gone that long. Ooh. Yeah. I had no idea. This is so <gasps> fucking foul. Um, uh. But I started to smell something. Oh, no. And I was like, something's wrong. Something's not right. And then, um, and then I went to the doctor and she was like, yeah, you have a <gasps> tampon shoved very far up there. Holy oh my God. Shit. And she had to use like these big tongs. And but it happens. it happens. It happens. Yeah. Yeah. But two weeks. Yeah. No, I've yeah. heard of it happening for longer than that to really? people. Yeah. Yeah. It happened to Sophia Franklin from call her daddy podcast. Oh God. So yeah. It was terrible. Alone. But my, that takes on to mine. So I thought I left a tampon in one time. Did I made my mom rush me to the doctor and mm. then they like did looked in there and there was nothing there. <laughs> okay, but wait, why did Call you think one. there was one? Yeah. And there was Well, I don't know. I just didn't remember taking mine out. And oh. then I was like to my mom, I think I So you I, just psyched yourself. I couldn't out. find it. I looked for it, guys. Like oh, I looked for it. I was gonna say it. if you really oh, I did. up there, like yeah. you but would find I was, it. I was like eighteen at the time. Okay. So oh, I was okay. like, please drive me to the doctor. And then the doctor's just like, nothing's there. And I'm like, cool. Thanks. See you next time. Yeah. <laughs> See you next time. See you next time. <laughs> when this happens oh my again. God. Um, okay. Do you ever get ravenous like the days right before and then when you get your period not be hungry at all? Yes. What, does ravenous mean eat a lot? Yes. I thought that meant I'm horny. So hungry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Robin! <laughs> get down! Hey, Robin! He's on the table, ah. friends. Ah. <laughs> Are you like the he mimosas. really just wants to be Grab a part of it. Oh my god! Who do you think you are? He's like, I am the king. <laughs> Ramen. Oh my. Like what? <laughs> okay, relax. Um, I thought that meant horny. Um, <laughs> Both ravenous, depending on what you want. I will eat anything and everything, and then the day I get it, I'm like, I feel I'm like not hungry crampy at all. and sick. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I just use it as an excuse to eat bad on my whole entire period. Um, well, yes, Ice you should. cream, pizza, everything. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Is that why you brought pizza in the car today? Yeah. I'm honestly supposed to get my period soon. That so I've been sense. eating like shit. What's the date? Am I? It, um, the fifth. The fifth. Oh, I still got 10 days before I become a psycho. <laughs> Do you ever sync periods with your friends? Always. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Isn't that weird? Is that like a proven scientific thing? Yes. Try being in the bachelor mansion oh. with all oh my God. that. Okay. Yeah. I have always wondered this. Like, what is that like with all the girls and like being on your period and like going on dates and like things like it's that? awful. I mean, some, uh, I was fine. I wasn't, I don't know why, but I wasn't like bitchy or anything during, I was like, I felt like so calm through that whole process. But, um, I think, yeah, it's, I think that's part of why the show gets so many ratings. I'm yeah. like, you oh, put that many women all synced up, one, psycho. Synced up. Yeah. And we, it really was true. I mean, sometimes you were so stressed out that you didn't get your period, but, um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's true. And it was crazy. Wait, so why do they sync up? Does anyone yeah. know? It's your hormones. Like you literally, you're not a scientist. <laughs> no, it's no, a, it, it is. It's something like, to do with hormones and like, um, I think it's like pheromones yeah. almost. So yeah, too, like you guys like it. Pores. Yeah. And you like, Whoa. it affects each other's bodies. It's so weird. No, it's crazy. Um, same thing with like when you have a baby and you hear a baby cry, your boobs start Lacking. leaking. And, like, weird. yeah, it's like it, it, your women's bodies are oh, yeah. crazy. I swear crazy. guys get some sort of period a month. Well, 
depends on who you're dating. <laughs> no, but like that was it. Jason's emotionally. like a happy girl. What are you trying to say about Jordan right now? I swear to God, he gets grumpy some weeks. I'm like, if you were a girl, you'd be on your period right now. <laughs> yeah, guys could never handle a period though. <laughs> oh God, no. No. Um, I gotta take a picture of this. Oh my God. Just a little podcast guy. Uh, okay, I'm so curious though. Like, okay, being when you were in the Bachelor Mansion and like had your period, did it like were you on birth control for being the bachelorette or like did it like fantasy suites like did you plan it like how did that work i'm so did they plan it around that i actually um started my period on one of them (laughs) on one of the fantasy suites i wasn't on birth control um also i didn't see any condoms laying around the fantasy suite interesting yeah but if I, I <laughs> they, really, they really were just trying to get like a tabloid story. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure they were there. But to be honest, people always think that Fantasy Suite is just all like bounce, bounce, bounce. Yeah. And it's like the one time you can actually just like talk for hours about things that you're not being produced on. Like sex is kind of a waste of time in the Fantasy Suite. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, we can do that another time. Like, who are you? Yeah, totally. <laughs> I have a few questions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um okay back to do you evers um do you ever cry over every commercial that comes on the tv like literally it could be a car commercial like for a suzuki yes why did i just pick that car brand i don't know <laughs> Suzuki. <laughs> but yeah, like, yeah i'll be sobbing oh yeah yes yeah, so I mean, like it's, that it's, was the most beautiful car i've ever seen <laughs> <laughs> i uh cried for approximately three hours the other day the other day it was probably around the 16th um <laughs> uh about my hair color Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. Jason was like, I don't know what to do right now. Like <laughs> I, and I was like, just let me be upset. Like I couldn't breathe. I was crying Aww. so hard. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. They it's, don't understand. They don't. They really I mean, honestly, don't. I don't think we understand either. No, so. I, I don't understand <laughs> no. at all. It's just, like, we're at the home. mercy of it. Yeah. Like hormones are fucking brutal. I do remember crying at a, I definitely cried the other day watching, um, the art of racing in the rain preview. Oh my God. Oh, I saw yeah. that. And I thought of you. It's right. got yeah. A yeah. 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 I read the book and I sobbed through the book and laughed and cried and it was just everything i wanted out of a book and then i saw they're making a movie with freaking yeah yeah jilo yeah oh i know it was filmed in vancouver too it was Mm -hmm. are you taking ramen to the premiere or what i should you should yeah right he wouldn't sit through that little date night (laughs) yeah that'd be cute oh my gosh yeah i can't wait for that movie to come out i don't have any more do you ever kayla do you have any I want to think. No, I've cried before because my friend told me she couldn't come out and I was on my period. Do you ever tell your boyfriend you're on your period just to not have sex? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Was, Usually like, after you tell them that yeah. you don't have it because yeah. you're being a psycho. Yeah. <laughs> then the story I changes real quick. Days. Yeah. A few days. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Not like, or don't touch me. Yeah. yeah. Or do you ever lie? Wait. Wait. Oh my god! I lost my train of thought. Okay. Well, I got one. Do you ever use a diva cup? No. no. Oh, I, I tried this when I was at your house that time. Remember, we went yeah, and bought one, yeah, and I hated it. Yeah. I was like, "This is so messy. I can't, I can't do I can't, it. I can't get down with the diva cup. I no, know it's I great for the environment. I know it's great I for your body, but it seems like a lot of work. Yeah. Do you ever like work? Yeah. Feel one thing wrong though, and you're like, "I have toxic shock. I like, yes. I, I yeah. Yeah. just <laughs> I'm dying. This is it. Yeah. One time I had like a bit of a fever, and I was like, "Well, this is how she goes. <laughs> yeah. This is it for me. Say like, goodbye. I yeah. read Calling so many family. articles on toxic shock as a kid, and like people who got amputated yes. or like and i was like yes. this is this is gonna happen i know because i am not very good about changing them me neither no. yeah it's i'll like go until it's like like what am i 12 and just got my period like oh, I, I know like you can't yeah. figure it out you're like oh well there we go i always remember sean used to make fun of me back in the back in the day last year um <laughs> when because he'd be like you know when you're gonna get it and you never have tampons on you what? yeah that's oh, yeah. the thing that's for it. girls yeah mm-hmm. i don't know just unorganized caitlin do they have tax on tampons in the states still because they took them off in canada really yeah oh, i don't know because it's not something we choose they should be free they should 100 they should, they should yeah that's crazy yeah they should be free yeah periods suck periods they do suck, suck. but really i also do. take it as like my time like i'm like when i'm on my period i'm like this is my time <laughs> uses an excuse for everything <laughs> yeah like i'm like me time yeah that's it feels like my me time do you I'm have like any um something like- <laughs> <laughs> just shedding my uterine yeah, lining shed. <laughs> <laughs> leave me alone i'm shedding <laughs> <laughs> um do you ever have like uh, any rituals you do when you're on your period um ice cream <laughs> 
what do you mean rituals like like a full-on seance no i'm kidding yeah <laughs> um, like do you like to have like hot baths yes. or like yeah. something yeah, that you I don't get, really do i get times. crippling cramps mm-hmm. like really bad so baths i love i love having heating pads mm-hmm. and i do i think i just choose to like I forgive myself in those days. Like if I want to eat bad or if I want to sleep in or do anything, I just forgive myself for those days. Yeah, you kind of have Listen to. to your body. Do you yeah. ever get mad when your boyfriend asks if you're on your period? Like, yeah, I'm like, I yeah. Li- how dare you? So but I yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I did this whole campaign with um, Kotex and it was all about like, like it was kind of empowering and it talked about how like they showed a video of all these people in an office and the one girl that was like, she was she was like really established in her career and she was telling somebody what to do and they were like out of all these people who do you think saw on their period and all the guys were like that girl that girl and it was like the stigma around Mm -hmm. around women on their periods so now i try and like be a little bit aware of that too where i'm like well like if somebody said are you on your period because i'm bitchy i would i would get really mad yeah like i'd be really offended i'd be like well why can't i just be a bitch a bitch (laughs) or like then no that actually bothered me it doesn't mean i'm on my period just because something bothers me and i'm expressing my feelings so go fuck yourself <laughs> it's a good campaign yeah it was good i really it was crazy because i'm going around doing media tours like talking about my period like <laughs> which was weird but i liked the messaging behind it which i tried to make it about that um okay we have some listener questions just to wrap things up okay. here um just pulling them up so maya green asks would you ever move back to canada yes i would love to raise my family in canada mm-hmm would you be in Vancouver? Would you be out here in Kelowna? I would like- be outside. I would be in BC somewhere probably, but it would be outside of Vancouver because Vancouver is... You're going to come to Cloverdale and be my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not against that. I'm not against it. Um, if Jason would have been on your season, how far do you think he would have made it? That's nobody so, ever asked me that before that's so interesting because like also i feel like you're probably in a different mindset at that time too like, i needed how i needed been? to have a sean before meeting a jason because that's such a good question kc underscore 12 that is really good because i was in a different place in my life when i was 30 and i kind of I feel like over three years, I've really like worked on self love and acceptance and done all like, I just constantly work on it where now I know what I deserve and not, I'm not trying to bash Sean because it's not like I'm better than him. It was just, I needed something different back then than I do now. Now I know what I like, like I need somebody that's going to be super secure in who they are and what they do. I need somebody that's totally okay with their emotions and can talk about it. I need somebody that loves communication and some of those things Sean didn't have. So, but at that time I didn't know that's what I needed. So I needed to go through what I did with him to really appreciate what I have with Jason. Yeah. You wouldn't value it. Now I'm like, no, I wouldn't. I would probably, I probably would have just like ruined something with Jason. And now I'm like, I really appreciate him. Yeah. Things will always happen in the right kind of time frame. Yeah. Yeah. How did I don't you... know. Wait, I didn't answer the question though. He would have made it to top four for sure. <laughs> one. He <laughs> would yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Who were your top four? Um, Sean, Nick, Ben, and Jared. Who so who would you? Wedding. Who would he? <laughs> oh, who would he replaced? Probably Jared. Okay. Jared Sorry, would hate Jared. that because he bitch. like he always hates when I call him. I was like, no, you're just like a friend. He's like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but it all worked out for him and Ashley. 100%. Yeah, I'm going to their wedding in like a week. How did you overcome past relationship insecurities going into a new relationship? From Felicia Marie. Can you read that one more time? <laughs> Sorry, I read you it really, really fast. Yeah. Really fast. <laughs> How did you overcome past relationship insecurities going into a new relationship? I think Jason just helped me with that because he makes me feel so secure. Like there was just, there's no games. We talk about everything. We both know where we came from. We both know we have a past. We both don't question each other's like what we went through. It, it was like, we, it starts now. And I think, I think I just really openly talked about my insecurities with Jason. Like something would upset me and he would be mind blown. And I'd be like, oh, I think it's because this happened in a past relationship and that's why I feel this way. And he'd be like, oh, okay, I'll be more cognizant of that next time. And then he will be like, I, so I, I think the only way I could deal with my insecurities going to the next relationship was by completely putting them all out on the table and, and being confident in my insecurities for him to understand. And then he can, him being who he is, he's mature enough and secure enough to listen to those and be like, okay, this isn't me and I can change this. 
That's so healthy though, because nobody's a mind reader. No. Like, and I think when you have that backstory, like you can understand the person better. Yeah. That's, there's no mind reading with Jason. I, we definitely just put everything out on the table. We talk about everything. <laughs> um, Jen J. Scott one asks, what are your fave U.S. snacks that you can't get in Canada? Also fave Canadian snacks beside ketchup <gasps> chips. Yeah. Ketchup chips. Um, oh, Henry. Mm. I love Oh Henry chocolate bars and you can't get them in the States. Um, what do you, and what's what, your favorite ones that you can't get in Canada from the States? Uh, like everything. The States have some <laughs> weird snacks. I Pe- don't know. Honestly, I'm still craving peanut butter beer. <gasps> peanut butter beer. It's so freaking yeah. good. You ruined yeah. me. I tried to order you some from Nashville for your Stop. birthday. Stop. Oh, that's so freaking cute. You can't. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think so. <laughs> that's funny. Um, Jen J. Scott one also asks, if you were to name a scrunchie Karen, what pattern would it be? <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite question. It would be poop brown. <laughs> <laughs> With a little hint of vomit <laughs> <laughs> and a bunch of little tampons oh my god yeah do you have anyone in your close like circle that same karen yeah oh, well no not my close circle but i grew up with a girl named karen um i danced with her my whole life she was like a really man. dear friend and she's lovely does she think it's funny i don't know i haven't asked her <laughs> i don't know if she listens to the podcast <laughs> or follows me but no she follows me um but i yeah i I apologize to all the nice Karens out there, but, <laughs> but there are a lot of bitchy ones. <laughs> Karens and Susans just yeah. get like the worst of social media. My names. favorite yeah. was when you used one for what day is it? And my mom's name. I forget. I just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and my mom was like, I don't get it. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, Susan. Never mind, Susan. <laughs> um sarah hill asks choose wine or ketchup chips and you wine. could never have the other oh wow okay I didn't even <laughs> <get the laughs> yeah because i st- i just i'm obsessed with ketchup in general so if i don't have ketchup oh, chips, yeah. at least i still have ketchup and i could never go without wine you could just take ripple chips with ketchup yeah i would there you go i would <laughs> ew solution oriented <laughs> that would yeah. not taste good yeah i think that would taste delicious no. i've done it it's like <laughs> what's the difference between that and fries it's they're both potatoes yeah but fries are like soft and warm Good contrast. Microwave your, ca- you, you or your chips. Yeah. chips <laughs> just throw the chips in the. I don't know. Mm. I'm opposed. But We're gonna. I'm gonna like blindfold you and make you do a taste. A taste test. We should do that for YouTube. <laughs> we oh. should. We ideas. should do. Uh, yeah. Ideas. Yeah. Ideas here. Um, Jackie, do you have any more? No, I don't. Okay. I have one more. Okay. From C Show Fo Show Carly. I she, like the name. Do you remember Carly? She says, "Ask her if she ever thinks about me and our special bond because I do." When we went skinny dipping. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I do think about that often, actually. <laughs> Where was, was that? Here. Uh, it was like one of my favorite Kelowna. Kelowna trips. Yeah. It was good. That was really a fun time. That was a fun night. We went and did the Smile Cycle tour. And then um, you had like a beaver hat on. We were so drunk. Yeah. And then... Ended up in an empty arena. Yeah. Like running around, listening to like... Um, it was um avenge sevenfold yeah 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 <laughs> and then we went skinny dipping and then we came back and i even remember waking carrots. up yeah you were peeling carrots that's how yeah. i nicknamed you bugs and yeah. then um you like woke up later and you text me you're like i just fell asleep in the shower like this is yeah. not good. i did <laughs> Goodness. It was my That's favorite you know. thing to yeah. do, though. In the summer, I actually Jason knows this about me. I love a good drunk shower. Like I love putting the shower on and being drunk and laying on the ground and like having a little nap. <laughs> I do that when I'm sad. Oh yeah, yeah. I well, put on sad music uh, and I sit in the shower. Yeah, that, because there's something about <laughs> water that takes you back to the womb. It's like <laughs> that's why I love so comforting. Kate was just at the fetal position that's on the show. Oh my god! And yeah, the water just hit you. And it's that's like pretty unsafe though. Like a drunk nap in the shower. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's not filling up. Someone told me yesterday that you only need two tablespoons of water to drown. (gasps) Okay, I won't do it anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Are you ready here first? Could be a myth. Could be a myth. No, I'm not risking that. Um, That's not how I want to go. No. (laughs) Yeah, please. Toxic shock? Toxic shock, sure. (laughs) (laughs) More legit. Yeah, drowning in the shower with two (laughs) tablespoons of water? No, that's embarrassing. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Okay, we are about to wrap this up, but... Before we let you go, mm-hmm. can you lead us out with a joke? Oh, okay. I'm putting you on the spot, but I know that you're a jokester and okay. you always have really good ones. What did the buffalo say to his son when he dropped him off at school? I have no clue. Bye, son. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a Canadian Nailed it. joke. Is it? Bye, son. I, I like love yeah, it. I think that. Oh, like, yeah. Do there's buffalo do you, in the States. Do you Google these? So. Uh, sometimes. But that I I used to have a joke book where I just okay. like 
kept them all in and I would whip them out at parties. Yeah, because how I can you it. dig past all the shitty ones? You know, there's like there's a lot pages of shitty and pages ones. Yeah. and yeah. pages of the classic. Yeah, like like um, what's green and has four wheels? She's already laughing. That's <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Grass. I lied about the wheels. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> who oh wrote that? God. I don't know. I wish I did that. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys for having me. Thank oh, you for doing here. this. Of um, I don't even feel like we need to let people know where to find you, but you know, off the this girl does three podcasts a week, guys. Crazy. Yeah. How do you do it? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Sometimes yeah. it's yeah Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday. There's oh off the vine, God. grape therapy, and a drunk dial, and off the vine podcast on instagram and then i have do edit on instagram for scrunchies and new hair accessories coming up and then spade and sparrows on instagram and then ramen the golden noodle on instagram got all that and then just my caitlin bristow yeah so much. a lot happening <laughs> a lot. <laughs> get a pen and paper right there. i love it um yeah you guys are probably already following it all anyways i was gonna add a question damn it i don't know Whatever. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank you for being here. And Thank you. Guys. Um, oh, that's what I was gonna ask you. Are you recording while you're here? Or do you have like a cue? Um, I will probably have to do a couple like of the Friday drunk dials, but nice. I've got a few in the bank. I love it. And you got Brie here. She's always good. Yeah. She's yeah. a funny one. Yeah. And, okay. And Lester. Oh my god. Leslie the legend. When we walked yeah. in, oh guys, god. she didn't know we were coming over. She and robe. she's wearing a robe and she just was like, Oh, Oh, and she's like, let me look at my hat and just puts on her she sun puts hat. She puts on like it a flappy so sun hat. Now. Cute. I <laughs> With love a house her. Coat. I love it. She's a legend. She is. She really is. She's uh, cute. All right, friendships. Well, thank you for listening. Don't forget, subscribe, leave us a review, rate us five stars. Always. And five stars only. Shove your one star somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> Shove your one. Star. And don't forget to join our um, secret Facebook group. I will accept you in if you answer those little questions. Yeah, we'll be putting, we'll post some, uh, maybe a picture of the do clip and Ooh. some. Um, we'll post the spade and sparrows label i mean you can look at that anywhere but you know you probably already have it in your fridge so i hope so okay friendships thanks so much see you next week bye toodles oh.